Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Naz and today I am going to discuss about bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis refers to the obstructed airway disease or bronchi and bronchioles and it is characterized by chronic transmural inflammation. Transmural means it involves whole of the thickness of the bronchi wall and uh, there will be airway dilatation, thickening and collapsibility. Mucus plugging will be there with impaired clearance. So the congenital causes of bronchiectasis include cystic fibrosis, primary ciliary dyskinesia and Cartagena syndrome. Cystic fibrosis is most common cause in United States. Primary ciliary dyskinesia is also known as immotile cilia syndrome and it is an autosomal recessive condition characterized by absent or short dynein arm resulting in immotile cilia. In male, this condition will lead to infertility because of the absence of sperm tail. Cartagena syndrome is present in 50% of the patients with primary ciliary dyskinesia and it is characterized by bronchiectasis, sinusitis and situs inverses. Acquired causes include autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and SLE, chronic infections like tuberculosis which is the most common cause worldwide, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, superative pneumonia and airway obstruction due to bronchial tumors. These all can lead to bronchiectasis. Complications of bronchiectasis is corpulmonal that is right sided heart failure due to lung disease. Respiratory failure can also occur. Metastatic brain abscess can occur and amyloidosis. Clinical features include chronic cough with copious foul smelling sputum. Hemoptysis will be there due to rupture of blood vessels near bronchial wall surfaces, dyspnea, recurrent pneumonia, coarse crackles over the affected areas will be present. Associated features are fever, weight loss, anorexia, finger clubbing and halitosis. Helical CT scan is done for the diagnosis of bronchiectasis and it is the investigation of choice. Pulmonary function test will show obstructive pattern that is there will be increase in total lung capacity, residual volume and decrease in forced expiratory volume, FEV1 to FVC ratio and peak expiratory flow. The chest x-ray will show tram tracking appearance which is the cystic shadows and thickened bronchial walls. In this chest radiograph, you can clearly appreciate thickened bronchial wall pointed by two arrows and it is known as tram tracking appearance. Hydration is beneficial in the treatment of the disease and chest physiotherapy is extremely important because there is decreased airway clearance from the mucus plugging. So when you do postural drainage and chest percussion, it will help remove the mucus. Antibiotics are given for superimposed infections and the options include amoxicillin, macrolides, cephalosporin or quinolones. Any of the above can be given. Steroids are used for allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and surgery can be done for the excision of bronchiectatic areas in severe cases. So that's the end of the lecture. If you like the video and learn something from it, please subscribe to my youtube channel and share the videos with your friend thank you so much for watching